بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ہوپ یو آل ول بی فائن اینڈ اے ویری گڈ مارننگ ٹو یو آل آفٹر اے لانگ ٹائم آئی ایم ایم بیک ود لاٹ آف نالج اینڈ نیو ریسرچز سو اسٹارٹنگ ود دا نیم آف اللہ موسٹ گریٹ فل اینڈ آر مائٹلی ٹوڈے آئی ول ٹیل یو اباؤٹ دی پلانٹ نیوٹریئنس Plant nutrients. It is the study of the chemical elements and compound necessary for the plant growth and reproduction, plant metabolism and in external supply. In its absence, the plant is unable to complete a normal life cycle or that the elements is a part of some essential plant constituent or metabolism. We having the 16 chemical elements are known to be the important to a plant growth and survival. We can divide these elements under two main groups. And these main groups are non-mineral nutrients and the mineral nutrients. Now, what are the non-mineral nutrients and what are the mineral nutrients? The first I will tell you about the non-mineral nutrients. The non-mineral nutrients containing carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. These are those type of nutrients which are found in the air and water while the mineral nutrients are those sort of nutrients which are found in the soil only there are 13 mineral nutrients these nutrients are divided into two groups these two groups are micronutrients and macronutrients now first i will tell you about the macronutrients these are these kind of nutrients which are essential for the uh, soil in a large amount these macronutrients are further divided into two major groups and they are primary nutrients and secondary nutrients and primary nutrients we having that are required in firstly for the soil the secondary nutrients after this primary nutrients which are the elements are required here which nutrients are required for the soil are the secondary nutrients primary nutrients nitrogen phosphorus potassium these are the primary nutrients while well, secondary nutrients we having the calcium magnesium and sulfur now micronutrients micronutrients are the elements which are essential for the plant growth only in a very small quantities and the micronutrients are boron chlorine copper iron manganese molybdenum and zinc now Today I will tell you about the first essential nutrients that is nitrogen. Nitrogen are the typically obtained from the soil. Nitrogen is essential micronutrient for the plant functioning and it is a key component of amino acid. Block which can form the building block of the plant's protein and enzyme. Nitrogen is also a component of the chlorophyll molecules which enables the plant to capture the sunlight energy by photosynthesis driving plant growth and then yield. Nitrogen play a critical role critical role within the plant to ensure energy is available when and where the plant needed it to optimize yield. all essential nutrients nitrogen is required by the plant in a large amount forms of absorption we can absorb the nitrogen in the form of nitrites and ammonium now what are the functions of the nitrogen what the nitrogen can do the firstly they important in the growth and development of the wider plant tissues and cell it help in the growth and development of the wider plant tissues as well as the second function we have help to hold the genetic code in the plant nutrients it is the primary nutrient of the macronutrient gives plant the green color they also as i told you it is the component of the chlorophyll as well so it gives the green color it gives the plant green color presence in the protein and purines and pyrimidine of dna and rna as i told you before that is the nitrogen is the key role in amino acid and protein so in the presence of uh, it help in the presence of protein and purin pyrimidine of dna and rna now we will move toward the deficiencies if we have been facing the nitrogen problem what deficiency we can face in the plants the first deficiency we having the chlorophyll content of the plant leaf is reduced the content of the plant leaves become reduced the second thing we having the plants become yellowish the green color of the plants become yellowish so this is the first deficiency the second deficiency we are facing that is 
फ्लावरिंग फ्रूटिंग प्रोटीन एंड स्टार्च कॉन्टेंट्स आर रिड्यूज मतलब द प्लांट्स आर एनेबल टू फ्लावर प्लांट्स आर एनेबल टू फ्रूट एंड द प्लांट्स आर एनेबल टू सिंथेसाइज प्रोटीन एज वेल एज दे आर नॉट एबल टू स्टोर एक्स्ट्रा फूड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ स्टार्च कॉन्टेंट दिस ऑल क्वालिटीज ऑफ द प्लांट बिकम रिड्यूस्ड नाउ टॉक्सिसिटी द वर्ड टॉक्सिसिटी द प्लांट्स आर फेसिंग दैट द डार्क लीव एंड फोलिएज लीव टिप्स मे बी टर्न डाउन yellowing on affecting leaves claw leaves which eventually start turning yellow getting spots and dying on the further slide i will show you the pictures about uh, on which you will uh, easily uh, able to uh, see it now we having the mobility nitrogen is mobile nutrients but it is the present in a one area it can move from one place to another mobility mid it can move from one place to another so mobility uh, the nitrogen is that kind of nutrient that are mobile that can move from one place to another the second thing which deficiency appears on the old leaves first matlab this content nutrients essential for the leaves because it is the essential component of the chlorophyll so if you having the deficiency of the nitrogen it will appears in the older leaves first other than the uh, new leaves now here i will show you some pictures in which you were able to study uh, to compromise that if the plant are having the nitrogen and plant having no nitrogen the first picture i will show you about this is the nitrogen component it is nitrogen having no nitrogen while here we having the nitrogen the second we having if you having the plants uh, nitrogen they are able to grow and develop both beautifully and here we having no nitrogen so it is not able to grow easily stunted growth will be occur here we having the nitrogen the plant leaves they are having the positive nitrogen they having the large leaves while having no here we having the less ability of the plants growth and here we having the larger ability of the plant growth now we will move toward the fixing a nitrogen deficiency in the soil how we can fix this nitrogen deficiency in the soil the first we having adding nitrogen manure to the soil we can add nitrogen manure to the soil and we can overcome the deficiency of the nitrogen the second we having the planting a green manure crop such as borage these are the kind of the borage plants we can grow these plants we are able to overcome or fix the nitrogen deficiency in the plant next we having adding nitrogen fixing plants like peas and beans and also the adding coffee ground to the soil these also overcome the nitrogen deficiency if you are growing the uh, bees and uh, peas these both having the nitrogen fixing plant because if we grow these uh, in the soil that they can fix the nitrogen in the soil so these are the nitrogen fixing soil plants and while we are adding the coffee in the grounds they can also having the nitrogen fixing and having the ability to overcome the nitrogen deficiency now thank you like and subscribe my all videos goodbye